You have to fight for everything. You fight to be recognized. You have to fight to like be seen. You need to be out there. I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I was living in my own little box. Everybody was disappointed. The highest that you would pay in Nigeria, if you in Nigeria, I ain't above that. That's just like that's yeah, the yeah, best. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> Are you a tech bro? I don't like to call myself that because of the personality that people have defined for those for the term. You know, like you you hear them people say that they have they always have dreads or they wear hoodies and like dress a certain way. Like so I don't like being boxed into a certain place. To me I'm not a tech bro, but I don't know about people. <laughs> So what do you do then? I'm a product designer just to like simplify everything I do into one role. Um, but like, like I do a lot, but just product design sort of covers most of it. How was growing up for you? I think it was humbling. It also taught me a lot because of like where, I'm, where I come from. Like I grew up in Ajigunle, the one in Boundary, which is like the proper ghetto. I feel like oh. that's like the ghettoest of all the ghettos. Growing up taught me a lot. like. It, it was the proper life, you know, for a, for a young person. Because yeah. you have to fight for everything. You have to fight to play ball. You have to fight to be recognized. You have to fight to, like, be seen. You know, you, you need to be out there. Mm. And I'm more of an introverted person than an extroverted person, contrary to popular belief. How did you get into product design? I started from clothing, custom clothes like joggers. This time was the time that Fino just sang the album and they were making like custom clothes. I was I was also part of the people that all those made money yeah. like grass. Yeah, all those that vibe then. This was like way back 2015 or thereabout. I just met one guy, he came to my hood and we we're all sitting outside. His name is Bina. I think he came to see one babe then. So I just met spoke to him randomly, like a young person talking to an adult. You know how you just want to do something. And I'm like, can I can I have your phone? Because he wasn't using it. So I went through his phone and I saw pictures of custom clothing. You know how you how they have like samples mm. they want to share with their clients. And I'm like, oh, this is something interesting. And I, I always wanted to learn how to make clothes like this. And he was like, oh, this was what he does professional at that time. And I asked if I could learn from him. He said yes. And whenever I'm ready. So a few weeks later, I spoke to my mom and she said that she wants to see the person because she cannot just allow me to just be leaving the house every day mm -hmm. so i told him to come and this bros had like tattoos all over his body left hand right hand so i was scared that my mom would have a problem with giving me away <laughs> to somebody with tattoos because of like you know, as a single mom, because I had lost my dad then, as a single mom, she was always cautious of things that we're exposed to as young people. I think this was way back in 2014, 2015. It's a long time ago. Yeah. I've been to the Dundee also. <laughs> I'm a, before then, so I had done a lot of other jobs, so it, was not, it, was, it wasn't going to be a new experience for my mom, mm. for me leaving the house to go and work. I was going to Yaba, you have to queue because like there are a lot of other people doing the same thing as you. Some people from Unilag, some people like in real life that that's what they do yeah. with kids and families. So people are on the queue waiting for their turn to get their designs done. Yeah, because all I could do then was sketch my ideas on the paper and they would give it to the likes of Ayo and to some other guys, Sandra C that would design these things and print for us. That wasn't a good use of like time. So I'm like, I need to learn how to use Corel Draw so that I can do my designs at home and just bring in, bring the file to them for them to print. So I started sitting beside, behind Ayo after I told him though, and he was like, oh, just watch me. So I was watching him. I would ask questions. How did you pull this or what did you press on your, you know? So that's how I learned. I started and I learned how to do Corel Draw because I wanted to know how to do my designs and bring it to them, not because I knew anything about graphic or product design here. Yeah. It was just knowing, learning what i needed to learn mm. to make the life i was living presently easier for me everybody was doing only graphics like on their clothes right and then heat transfer just came into the market the people were doing spongebob and the likes on their on their clothes and then i'm like what if you just do a cartoon of yourself you know and just put it on the clothes? i think i was speaking to collins about it 
So Collins was like, oh, let's try it out now. So I designed a cartoon of my own face mm. and I took it to the market that day and I'm like, I print this thing, something. So I gave it something, something printed it. And everybody liked that. Ah, this is really good. So even people that just came to do their own story, like, oh, let me take a picture of it so I can show it to my customer. So they take a picture and then they were snapping and they, they, it was going around the about that time. So, and for the most part, when people wanted to do a cartoon version of themselves, yeah. I, then I was now back in school. Though. They would reach out to me, right? So I would, I would do, initially I did cartoons of everybody in that office where we go to work for free. Because of that, they would, could wear it and other people would see it. And then, so this was making me money, right? Mm. So I was making money from Kilo and also designing cartoons of people. Um, and because of this relationship, I'd also be, so when I was back in school and I had clothes gigs to do as well, I could easily just call the, those boys and ask, for, ask them to just help me get those things done, right? So that also helped me build relationships. So I just got tired of clothes because it was, the market was porous and like, so things, we're not doing bidding war on price, right? And people were ready to go cheaper than me. So I was just tired and then there were so, mistakes were being made because like a lot of tailors were overwhelmed with work. So they mm. do rubbish to your clothes and you cost you money. You have to buy another fabric. So it was, I just had to leave that, <laughs> that part of my life behind. So now I was just doing only um, photo manipulations, graphics, right? Um, then in school, I realized that, oh, there's something called graphics. So, you know, and I collected Photoshop. At this time, I was doing my manipulations on Corel Draw before I even had access to Photoshop. So when I had Photoshop, I started learning Photoshop from photo manipulation. Mm. Nothing like rudiment of design or like learning from hierarchy. Me, yeah, I not learn. I learned backwards. Like I learned all those hard stuff. Yeah. Then I now realized that who oh, you have to learn typography, hierarchy, color, all those. How did you things. learn? On my own. YouTube. Yeah, like on my own. I, when I realize any gap I have in like my knowledge, I go in and I pick stuff up, right? And mm -hmm. like then I so because I was learning backwards, it was on the job that I realized the gap I had in certain skills, and I'm like, oh, I need to, I need to cover this. So then I started as a graphic designer, right? And then I, I, I now heard, I think it was during NYC that I met MB. And one other guy in Ilori, they were the ones doing products, mm. right? And I'm like, how can I learn product design? They said, oh, just go to Figma.com and design inside. I'm like, I will not download the app. Because <laughs> 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 everything, all I knew was like anything design, you have to download the app. But Figma was a cloud-based software, one of the first at that time. So it was strange to me, like, are you people are whining me? Like, this cannot be real. So... I did not even listen to them because, like, are you people funny? What do you mean I should go to Figma.com to mm. design, right? So, for, like, one month, I didn't even listen to that advice because it was not sound. It wasn't sounding like a sound advice. But after, like, a month I or two, I checked Figma, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. So, I started. I was just doing it for fun, honestly. I studied electrical engineering. Oh. Even though I knew it wasn't a, something I wanted to do in my life, I didn't know what I was going to do in my life, but I was not learning design because I wanted it to be what I was going to do in my life because I didn't know that it was a profession called design in mm. any way, right? Because I was living in my own little box. Like, I'd not known so much. I even got a job at, as an assistant engineer. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was with Bizwal. So they gave us a house because they obviously have to give you a house because mm. they are moving you to a new place. We had the driver that would drive us around site and everything. Money was fairly decent at that time. But like, so they were like, oh, you go to site and you come back. I, I carried my laptop. So first week, we would go and work. There was not a lot of thing going on. So we would go and work and we come back home. I would enter my room mm. and I would open my laptop and, and, you know, continue practicing. There was a day that we worked for 48 hours straight. Like, we only took break just to eat. Sites were just dropping, 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 dropping. And I couldn't practice for like two days. And I wasn't feeling good about it. I'm like, this is not what I want to do with my life. Oh, I cannot be living like this. Oh. So that week, I just, I didn't tell anybody. Mm. The Saturday that I was leaving the house, I just told them that 
See, it's coming, people. I'm not doing this work again. Oh. Don't worry. There's no need to convince me. I'm done. And I went back home. Everybody was disappointed in me. Because, like, fresh out of school, you mm. had a job that is paying you almost 100K. And you just dropped it like that with no plan. No, you know, no next thing. Like, okay, what exactly what, what do you next? want to do? Right? So, but there was one thing that they said that, oh, it, they were supportive. But, like, I knew they were disappointed. Right, but they were like, Oh, like you are the one that sort of like is experiencing this, mm. so you know why you said that you don't want to do this anymore, even if it doesn't make sense. We respect your decision mm. and I will pray for you. That year, was I resigned in October, so in December, ending of December, I got a, a job as a graphic designer. Yeah, um, then I started in January, that was like the first ever rule. Or graphic design ever, right? So, and I knew that there was a role called graphic design when I was applying for jobs as an electrical engineer. And I'm like, let me just search graphic mm. design on those job I'm And then I'm seeing, you know, at that time, job opportunities for graphic designer was more than job opportunities for electrical engineer. Are you serious? I think that's because graphic design was not it. Yeah. So I was stunned. Like, are you? Yeah. This is. So I did the design and Popo helped me print it. How much do you earn on average? The highest that it would pay in Nigeria, if in Nigeria, I earn above that. That's just like. That's yeah, yeah, the yeah, best. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> now, why are so many come now? <laughs> I've been ready to <laughs> My name is Bright Shekoni. I'm the founder of Audition Properties. Um, we are a real estate development company. One of the things that makes us very special is we do business with very young people. Um, I'm known to have helped a lot of young millionaires out there to make money through real estate, which is illegal. Ah, it's a baller. Give me the mic. <laughs> this guy is a baller. Let me gist you guys. My birthday last year. Yeah. This guy showed me love. Yeah. God! How do I get inspiration? Um, yeah. From everything, literally, because like everything is designed, right? How they created the space here for us to put our legs, the chair, these landscape, websites, movies, life generally. Um, yeah, I, I get inspiration from everything. But like per project, I have to like dig deep to like certain websites or like products we use physically. So I just pay attention to like little details that other product designers have used for their work and it helps me when i eventually want to do a tax i start to remember things i've absorbed or like learned from a long time ago so you want to come to the beach and you don't want to put your leg inside water that's all you they do how do you distress um i have a ritual one every sunday i go for brunch because food is very food is a lot of therapy like it's enough <laughs> it's enough Therapy for me, right? They're not free for me to relax. I go to the beach, that's why we're here. I go sightseeing, um, I drive, I sleep. I sleep a lot, guy. I, I, from 11 to like 5, don't think that you, you can reach me because I am mostly sleeping. Um, and then I party. So, what advice will you give to anyone trying to get into product design? I think it's very important not to undermine the power of actually taking time to practice, right? Um, experience, expertise, instinct, like designing with instinct, speed, come from constant practice. You practice to the point that you can do things without having to think too much or go for inspirations and everything. And if you are good enough, right, and you put your work out there, people will notice you. So I, I don't do it in reverse. Don't try to look for recognition or like popularity before you you start learning how to create excellent work. Create excellent work first, and everything will come with it. So yeah, number one thing is to spend time and learn your craft. For it's basically for anybody, spend time and learn your craft. Then the recognition, finances, recognition, and the rest. You know, every other good thing shall be added onto it. <laughs> <laughs>